cash only. Uh, mate. Oh. Oh, there we go. How good is that? Let's go, let's go, let's go before someone comes. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. More. Pre-soak, please. That's magical. Oh, yes. A little bit for you, a little bit for me. Easiest way to clean your damn pants, man. And the issue is, these damn boots aren't waterproof. Oh my gosh, Saturdays, man. Why do I choose Saturdays? I'm gonna turn left here. Stuff that. Where am I? What is happening? Why am I using Apple Maps? It's the worst. Apple Maps sucks. But we are going to a location. I'm like, I'm after like a nice uh like natural sort of vibe that's sort of local so i'm thinking like trees and crap so i asked uh corey he's got the other the other scrambler for some cool local spots and he gave them to me which is mad but he gave them to me in apple maps form guys what the heck it's been ages it's been so long so much has happened i feel like i had to just you know just give you a little update on um, where I'm at. Crap, where do I start? So as you can tell, maybe, <laughs> Revit Australia have hooked me up with some awesome gear because I've been going out adventuring, guys. I've been going out adventuring like every two weeks, hence the bike clean, it was bloody filthy. That's literally on like a, almost a weekly basis, it gets this filthy, which is cool. Like I'm using it and it's a good time, but also it's a dirty time. So they're sick, they're literally like 100% waterproof. Like look, new gloves, new gloves, or a Revit, Revit jacket hoodie like it's you know and it's pretty hip it's not too like adventure or anything like that and it's still 100% waterproof and I know this because yesterday it bucketed down I mean like you can still see the clouds around and stuff but for an hour and a half just on the freeway uh, you know it's like you know what it's like but I was so happy with all my gear apart from my damn boots man I'm just so annoyed like I don't know former why did you make a set of boots that are just not waterproof just make them waterproof although they're, they're you know the trail versions or whatever surely if you're riding through the trails and you go in a puddle of mud you want your feet to be dry still i don't know that's just me so revit have hooked me up with their gear and that's what we're going to shoot this afternoon i'm hoping to find some of these nature spots and it's a saturday so i might be busy so i might just take a couple of photos of my bike because I, I get a bit funny when there's you know there's people around and i'm literally like posing with a tripod because I, I make fun of other people that do that <laughs> oh that, that was a mistake oops oops thank you i love that wall so much look at that elephant man that's such detail it looks so good it's my color scheme as well gray ah oh, so these places down here i think i've been down here oh don't tell me it's a dirt road i literally just washed my bike man oh. <laughs> <laughs> Got us right down here, a little footpath. Let's go down the footpath. I think it's this. Ah, uh, yes, I've, I think I've been here before. Uh, there's too many people around, I feel. Nah. We'll go to the next spot. Let's check this one out, shall we? Dunk. Yeah, mate. <laughs> yeah, so it's been pouring down. I, I wore these. These dirt pants are so sick. So they're really light, really nimble, good for standing up and, you know, doing dirt stuff I guess um, less restricting which is good for me because I'm running around all the time moving cameras and crap uh, I've got some bad news but I might just rip through the good news first because it's something that I'm really really stoked about Woo! I started up a whole new YouTube channel um, maybe some of you know about it already some of you have already come across which is cool thank you so much for the support I really do appreciate it it's full-on moto camping no talking though zero talking just literally you watch me ride in you watch me set up all my gear how i cook everything how i do everything i go to sleep i wake up have breakfast pack up and leave that's the episode and it's it's doing really well <laughs> i can't believe how well it's doing hey it's actually crazy first video a month ago that's now on like 700,000 views. Next video, boom, 1.5 million views, which is crazy. It's already overtaken Motofills, which is just like, it's awesome, but it's equally as frustrating because I've put so much effort into Motofills and I feel like just YouTube just doesn't like it. It just hasn't been pushing it like ever, not once. I don't know, <laughs> what do you do? Um, but I am, I am genuinely stoked that 
it's going so well because I don't know you guys know me I love nature I love motor camping and stuff um, I've never done it solo and now I'm doing it I'm up to night five night five of my solo motor camping experience I love it so much hey I find it so relaxing I find it so relaxing to even edit I'm there just in the wilderness all by myself and it's funny because like so many of the comments if he's by himself then he's holding the camera that's a compliment in itself because people people are you know a sus that I have someone with me filming me but it's literally all me I just have a tripod and I have a camera I do everything literally everything don't do it oh ho, 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 mate and I started it because I I struggle sleeping I'm a bad sleeper and I've watched other I've been watching other camping channels for like maybe three or four months and it just makes me fall asleep so well hey I think it's just full-on nature vibes you put on a set of good headphones and you just watch it on your telly or whatever no talking so it's universal you know what I mean like anyone around the world can watch it I love the response from it every comment is just so positive and just like this is amazing we love you which is so sick and I guess people get to see Australia they get to hear like uh, night night four the latest one from now uh, kookaburras were going off like crazy kookaburra is a native to Australia and uh, Papua New Guinea and so obviously people don't get to hear the kookaburras or hear what a kookaburra sounds like and it's literally this bird just laughing at you <laughs> but it does sound like a monkey which is which is pretty funny but yeah so that's doing really well it's already almost at 40,000 subs with only four videos guys <laughs> that's just like <laughs> what so that's going to be a thing that's going to continuously happen for um or like every every second week there'll be a new video people have been asking me about reviews and stuff and how i'm going to review my camping gear and all that i don't know if i'm going to put it on that channel or this channel uh i just don't know i really don't know how nice is this eh? I'm happy just bloody riding around guys, this is awesome, I haven't done this in ages, broken in my new tyres, did I mention I got new tyres? I got new tyres, this is also part of the good news, <laughs> so last week during night three, the camping trip, oh sorry, night four, there was a big old muddy uphill climb and oh my gosh, like it rained the whole time which was awesome, it's awesome for the ASMR experience because no one likes camping when it's raining you watch people camp when it's raining it's easier but getting up this hill I, as soon as I just tried the back tire just and it was with my Scorpion Pirelli other uh, Pirelli Scorpion Rally STRs they were already worn out as much as is and they're like a 70-30 and they're not made from mud or sand or anything gnarly like that just light off-roading it's like they'll cake to me and they were absolutely caked wheels is spinning constantly couldn't get up it took me three hours to get up this hill I'm all by myself laid branches down rocking it back and forth just trying trying everything and then I finally get it up I was exhausted I just wanted to get home okay so this is the other nature <laughs> spot I don't know about this it's uh it's just all like I mean I could uh, people have picnics and stuff maybe maybe we'll check out the other spot eh mm, nah. That's too, that's too <laughs> fancy. <laughs> Anyways, new tires were a must. Um, and I'm really stoked that Shinko hooked me up with these bad boys. Oh, you can't see them now. Uh, they're the E804 and 805. I think the four's the front, five's the back. 50-50, I've gone 50-50 now. Less cornering, but apparently you can still scrape pegs, which is cool. I, I just probably won't go as hard, just because it's, you know, a knobbly a tire, especially in the wet. But they feel awesome. Hey, I went for, I went through the mud yesterday and the day before uh, on another camping trip. And um, this is, that's night five, guys. <laughs> That'll be out next week, if you want to check it out. And yeah, man, it puts holes in the ground, man. I'm so stoked. Like it literally, you know, is doing its job, which is so nice. You know, when I lean like, like that it just you feel it going the vibration through the bike which I don't mind hey it makes me feel like um you know riding a dirt bike which is fun so new tires new gear I've also oh, okay. oh okay. Oop, left and up here oh one day <laughs> I had a leech on me in the last episode oh. first time ever it was on my neck I had no idea and then when I was editing the video together, you could just see it just suck it on my neck. It was freaking disgusting. I had no idea. And I was leaning over the table, just prepping my meal, and it fell, hit the table, and then crawled into my knife. 
and I thought it came from like the, the awning, like the ceiling or something. It came from my neck because then all of a sudden I was like, I was piercing out blood, hey. And it bled for like a solid few hours. Oh, no, not hours, crap. It's like a few minutes. And I had to get like a wipe and just hold pressure on it. I had no idea. Disgusting. Ugh. Anywho, because of this whole new channel thing and because it's doing so well like it's something that I want to keep doing as well for myself personally I, I, I time is a struggle hey editing videos is a killer it's a time sink it takes so long to edit a damn video I'm going to be still releasing Metafuels Metafuels is going nowhere so don't worry about that but it's gonna be on like a like a fortnightly basis I think until either one of the channels you know, really starts making some awesome coin. Is he serious? Is this... This is not nature, Corey. <laughs> Unless it's down there. What the hell? And he reckons down here? <laughs> is he... Oh, really? Ah, oh, there's a little thing down there. Nah, not at all what I'm after. Oh, hang on. Yeah, that is it. Yeah, nah. Nah, 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 nah. Next spot. Yeah, until, until I have enough money to be able to do all this stuff because you know i have i have a job like i do my work as a, a freelance photographer hey someone just bought insta 360 how good is that thank you whoever that was um i'm doing that i'm doing youtube and then you know doing this sort of stuff taking photos on my bike and my stuff as well everything just takes so much time and i just don't have any time to literally have for myself because i'm just constantly creating content and that's how burnout happens not good i would love to have someone on board to be able to start editing for me once that happens yeah weekly videos for sure and i still keep the camping ones as a fortnightly thing because i think that's just a nice it's just a nice i don't know amount so yes that's part one of the bad news um uh, oh damn it i was there i'll go this roundabout part two of the bad news and this is like you guys probably won't care, but this is for me, bad news for me. When I got to Melbourne, I checked, I checked the whole, the number plate thing <laughs> and Fields was available, but I needed to have a Victorian license to be able to purchase it. So then I went to Vic Roads, I did all my stuff and then there was some screw up or something and there was a delay of like three months for my license to come back. When I found out, I was so devoted, I was so devoted. I can't have it, I can't have Fields anymore. It was available when I got here and in the history of Victoria with registered cars in the history of it no one's ever had it until I freaking moved here someone saw it and was like yep <laughs> yoink if you're watching this shame on you <laughs> I mean you sneeze you lose right but I was just so bummed so now I can't have feels I've got it on still now um, but in two weeks time less than two weeks it's gonna be off I'm just going to be having a generic crappy number plate until I can figure out what I want. So I'm open to suggestions. If you guys have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments below and uh, I'll, be, I'll be very happy reading through them. I think you're up to date. I think, I think, I think you're up to date. Spoke about my gear, spoke about my tyres, uh, the whole camping thing. If you want to check it out, hey, like, check it out the other channel is just called rob hamilton literally just google that and um well not google it just type it into youtube and i'll be at the top oh, 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 oh mate yeah i saw you <laughs> the old wave so yeah check it out let me know what you think of it as well if you prefer chatting or if you like the whole asmr vibe and i mean it's not everyone's cup of tea people are like man why don't you talk i have a whole other channel with me talking <laughs> There's no way in the world I'm going to talk on that channel. This is the one I yammer on. Oh, I get so nervous with new tyres. So yeah, go check it out. Let me know what you think. I love it. I love it so much. Okay, I'm not sure how I'm going to go for these locations. I think I'm just going to have to take some banger photos on my next camping trip. Because I'm not really feeling inspired right now. Especially the weather. It's all cloudy and gloomy. I want some nice golden rays, you know. Give me gold now, baby. Hook down in here. Whoa. The tyres, tyres feel fancy. Oh yeah, for those that are asking what this thing is, I've had a fair few questions actually. It's a throttle lock. You roll it down and then, oh hang on. So it's like, it's pretty dangerous on these back streets, but you do that. It's cruise control. I can do, I can do this now. Ah, so good, I can just talk with my hands. And then roll forward to, you know, unlock it. 
it's so handy especially on like freeways and stuff going camping and all that so good i think i'm done i think i'm done that's all i wanted to tell you guys i hope i hope you enjoyed that little catch up and um i'll see you in the next vid oh i got some yeah com cool videos coming up though i'm very excited i can't say much about one of them but the other one the new foresight helmet dropping next week or the week after or something i don't know i'll decide when i receive it they sent it out to me because i'm in melbourne now i couldn't try it on first wrong size helmet i've got a big head and um yeah so lol <laughs> all right guys see ya Yo.